video is sponsored by Skillshare. Ooh, what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Valandis back with another video. Let me just say I am super excited for today's video. I don't think I've been excited for like kind of like this excited for like a camera kind of review or using the camera type of video excited as I am about this one. Y'all saw the title. Y'all have seen the photo I posted on Instagram, the photo I posted on Twitter. Yes, it is the contacts G1. Um, yeah, contacts G1. I've heard the same horror stories. The camera is autofocus sucks. Don't buy it if you don't want an entire roll of photos to come out out of focus and this and that. Everybody says that the Zeiss glass is very, very nice, but just the, the, the contacts autofocus system is very bad and it's a bunch of horror stories that kind of deterred me from like buying this camera. Cause one, if we're gonna be honest, this camera is very attractive, very attractive looking camera, very good looking camera. It's definitely well built. It definitely looks good. It's small, uh, detachable lens on kind of a point and shoot style camera. Now, I don't like range finders, so um, I guess I don't have to really worry about it with this because this is a uh, autofocus camera. You can set manual focus, but then you kind of just like have to guess the distance of something which I do not have the time for, so I will not be doing. So these cameras are very expensive not this one necessarily but the g2 is like twelve hundred dollars so that's the more expensive version to this camera and i'm all for i'm all for getting the cheaper version of things if it performs the same way i've read a couple things watched a couple videos and you know what i'm saying did my little history and my research on both of these cameras and from what i read and what i heard they're the exact same camera but the g2 has a little bit more functions and the autofocus is a little bit better and yeah but essentially they produce the same quality of image and if that's the case i would rather get the cheaper version because i can deal with a few drawbacks if that's the case like it is what it is i'm the type of person that if a lot of people are saying one thing i like to try things out for myself and don't let people's opinions deter me um, out of trying something that I want to try. So uh, yeah, if the autofocus is bad, I will figure that out on my own and then make my thesis off of that. And if it's not, then it's not. Sometimes things are bad for some people and not bad for other people. A lot of people shoot with RZ67s and they have never had it run into any issues. I had an RZ67 that ran into some issues, but am I going to deter people from getting it? Like, oh yeah, this camera, it has problems and it can malfunction anytime. I'm not gonna scare people into not getting the camera. Yes, it happens, but it doesn't happen to everybody and it's not the case for everybody. So um, yeah, also if you break this camera, this is one thing that I kind of agree with. Oh, not even kind of agree with, but that I read and um, definitely hold some weight that if this camera breaks, it's kind of hard to replace or get it fixed because not too many places in America fixes them. Um, and a lot of people who do fix cameras kind of don't want to touch contacts cameras. I know you probably got to send it to like Japan or something like that. So, and the main reason why I wanted a 35 millimeter camera, specifically this one is because of um, how lightweight it is. I want to have a 35 millimeter camera because I want to be able to capture more moments that I spend and have with my friends. A lot of the times when I go out with my Mamiya camera or even my Fuji camera, I'm like, I'm going out to do something specific and to make pictures for this thing. And it's like, it kind of feels like work. I kind of just want to have a camera on me that's like, um, just feels like more like in the moment I can have on me all the time and just like capture moments without it being like this big thing. And also I still need to get a lot of photos for my book and I do not feel like going out all the time to like, oh, specifically I need to go out and get these photos for my book. Sometimes it can just happen if I have a camera on me where I can just capture these moments as they happen. That's what I want. So that's why I'm hoping this camera is going to be the right camera for me so enough of the talking let's just go out and get to shooting with it That easy. Little duck cameo. 
Oh, Duffy, I'm gonna get a picture of Duffy. I like it. <laughs> it feels good. Like it took the picture and it felt like nice. It's like kaching. It, it's like an old school like feel, but like feels nice at the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If that makes sense. Like it feels like old, but like up to date. Kind of. Yeah, like up to. It feels like old new. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're about to take some portraits of them all. It's a lot of people here. It's a lot of people here, but you now we got my boy Duck. And we got them all. Because Rochester, Rochester, you know. Did you hear it? it sounds good. Yeah, I heard a little bit. I want you to like. Here, take take a picture. Okay. I'll take a picture of you. Yeah. I'll put my finger in front of the lens. Don't that feel good? Yeah, I like it. Low key, it feels good. I'm not gonna lie. Film photographer taking pictures of yeah. Yeah, you know, I guess. So far, I really like love this camera a lot. Like, we've already on our like 18th shot, but like, it don't even feel like I've been shooting that much. But I've been shooting like it's easy to go through a roll of this because it's like you just keep taking pictures. Oh my God, you're annoying. <laughs> Viewfinder kind of ugly, I'm not gonna lie. No. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe I'm like overdoing it with this camera, I'm gonna like see the images when I get back and be like, you know what, this camera sucks, but right now, just like usability. Is usability a word? I don't know. I don't think so, <laughs> but we're gonna make it up right now. Usability, amazing. One of the best cameras I've ever just like, I guess used. We just rolled past this, this, and was like, <laughs> gotta stop and take pictures, so. I guess my final two shots are gonna be of this. Definitely gotta come back, right? Yeah. I wanna come back on like a gloomier day though. This is like very bright. It should be cool though. We shooting with Fuji, you know they got some good greens, they got some good blues. So, you know, we got some good greens, we got some good blues, so. Mm. All right, so we're at Amal's mom's house now, which is uh, like, kind of suburban is this the suburbs a little bit. it's like suburbs but like whatever that's not important we're at a mall's mom's house now and oh, i think this is a <laughs> mall's on trampoline <laughs> this is the perfect time to test out the camera and i think what i would be using it for which is just like moments like this but anyway let's see if this 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 uh camera is capable of capturing high action sports <laughs> you can do a backflip do it no. <laughs> <laughs> all right so <laughs> while i jump let's cut to the sponsor of this video so this video is sponsored by skillshare skillshare is an online platform that offers classes for practically anything you would ever want to learn it is a place where you can go deeper and learn more about the things you're already passionate about or touch up on a new skill that you're interested in in the past i found that learning new things has helped me with my creativity one of my favorite classes on skillshare is by one of my good friends and photographer trash hand where he goes over capturing the life of your city in this lesson he goes over everything that goes into capturing your city from night photography lookups and even street porches it helped me get better at capturing the life and moments in my city and it even helped me with editing Skillshare does an amazing job of just letting you learn it's ad-free and they're always launching new classes and it's less than 
$10 a month with an annual subscription. The best news about this subscription is the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership so you can explore and learn new things freely. I encourage everyone to click the link in my description. From photography, music, illustration, filming video, or even animation, Skillshare has a class for you to get right into for free and start learning if you click that link. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Ah. Your head. <laughs> My hat. I tried to grab it. <laughs> okay, I want to go. Come on. Oh my God, I sat in water. Thank you. What? I sat in some water. Yeah, like right here. <laughs> oh. oh no! I can't get up. <laughs> get a good glimpse of it. You're gonna be seeing it a lot on this channel. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to overdo it. I didn't want to make it seem like I was just, this is the best camera ever in the world because I know for a fact, I've said that about plenty of other cameras I've used on this channel. But if I'm going to be completely honest, cause you know, I'm all about being honest. I'm, a, I'm like a kid, bro. Like everything that's like good to me, I'm like, I love it. I, I love it, I have nothing bad to say about it. Usability wise, this is one of the best cameras I have ever used. Experience with the camera, the feeling you get from pressing down on a shutter button and the photo being taken is one of the best with this camera. It feels very nice. You feel like you just took a really good photo. I wish I could have shot some good film through it instead of like this cheap like CVS film, but all the film stores were closed and I had no choice. So autofocus, not bad. I don't know why people were like bashing it that much. Like I don't want to talk about it too much. I clearly like the camera. I clearly love it. I'm going to be keeping it. I'm going to be using it a lot more often on this channel and just in general. So yeah, that is that. Not really going to be like a review, but I like the camera. It's mine now. I have it. It's in my possession is going to be a big part of me and who I am and can't nobody say nothing to me to deter me from that and I don't care. I like what I like and I am who I am. Anyway, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. It is truly and always gratefully appreciated. Also, please like the video. It does great in algorithm and it's recommended to more people when you like the video. So do me a favor and like the video. If you are subscribed, please do me a favor and ring the bell so you can get notified every single time I drop a new video. It is also truly appreciated. <sighs> anyway, let's get out here and let's go do some shit. <laughs>